Lee's thing wasn't really being happy. <laughs> the prickly, caustic, challenging outer persona always made me think, what is it that she's so desperately protecting? Like, all the insecurities and how vulnerable she must have been. I mean, if you're super, I think, competent or confident, I don't think you're so willing, you don't feel the need. So I thought, it's all bluster. It's, it's what all of us do. We all have these terrible defense mechanisms that usually do not help our situation, but we can't help them. So to me, it was such a relatable thing of like, what do all of us do to kind of protect ourselves? And Lee's was so aggressive and open and consistent. I mean, it was part personality, but no one wants to be that isolated by choice. So it kind of endeared her to me. And I, it, I think it's what made me fall in love with her. She won't play the game and won't do this like celebrity, like shine the light on yourself, be more fantastic. And she kept saying, why can't I just write? Which I relate to that incredibly. Like, why can't you just do what you do? Why, why does there have to be the added layer of look at me? Because it's real. Because just like everyone else, there are likable and unlikable men and women and kids. And you have to show that because it's showing. You need to show and tell stories about the world that we live in. The, I think it's important for humans to see other humans as they as they are and reflect the real world around us. And I think when you, you know, I think when you keep putting this perfect image of a, you know, the perfect woman and cleaned up and all of these things. One, she's incredibly boring. I also don't know any women like that. I think we are all the sum of our flaws and quirks and ticks, and that's what makes us love people or not like them, but you get a strong reaction from those things. You're never like, oh, they're perfect.